Hey guys, Dre Event here with the legend, Tim Brown, <laughs> hanging out with him here at Raider Fest. Tim, what's up? Thanks for doing this interview. Hey, Good you. to see you. Appreciate you. Good to see you. Well, how has it been just interacting with fans? You've got so many people that have come to see you. You've touched so many lives over the years. What does that mean to you, just to be able to be up close and personal with them? Uh, you know, it's always great to be at this event, you know. Uh, people always come by and say things like, you know, hey, you know, thanks for what you've done for Raider Nation. And, mm -hmm. You know, thanks for your support and thanks for, you know, uh, being the man that you are and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I mean, you know, I'm not an ego type of guy. But, yeah, I can you know, tell so. I like that about you. <laughs> but certainly it uh, it makes you feel good that people recognize that you're more than just a football player. Yeah, and you've had so many great memories over your career. If you had to narrow it down to your top two memories as a Raider, what would those two be? Um, you know, certainly playing in the um, AFC Championship yeah. game and realizing at some point in that game that we were going to win and going to the Super Bowl were, was a... Um, monumental moment for, for me in mm -hmm. my career anyway and in my sports career mm -hmm. and um, you know probably um, you know when when I when I got my thousand catch yeah you know, I didn't realize how big a deal that was mm -hmm. um, you know but even over the years when you look at you know 12 years later there only been three or four of the guys to get it done right you know? so, right you're in that um, elite category yeah, yeah so you know I mean things like that that um, People can't ever take away from you, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's a great, great, great feeling. What do you think of the team this year? Obviously, a spectacular year. A lot of young talent. Carr did get hurt down the stretch there, but overall, what was your impression on the impact that this year's Raiders team left on the NFL? Well, you know, I kept saying that they hadn't played their best football yet. You know, they were getting better each, each week, game. and yeah. uh, uh, I really felt as if they were, you know, uh, poised to to play their best football in, in I agree. the. Uh, uh, in the in the postseason, and it's unfortunate that uh, you know you lose Carr, and you realize uh, that how fortunate the Cowboys were to have yep. somebody like Dak, Dak Prescott. Right, right. It doesn't Stuff happen like that. You just don't know it's going <laughs> to yeah. happen. It doesn't happen with every team, you know. And uh, the young kids came in and put, tried to play as well as they could, but it, it was overwhelming to them. You can you can see that. So, right. um, you know. So hopefully, you know, you can't ever guard against injuries and all that stuff. You got to mm -hmm. go out and play the game. But at the same time, man, you know, you got to find a way to keep number four healthy. Because exactly. He makes all the difference in the world. All right, he's the probably, general. Probably, probably added him a couple zeros on his contract. Yeah, you know what? It's like, you see what you're missing. We know we got to keep Carr. <laughs> well, Tim, this is so exciting. This is what I do with a lot of current players. It's called the three minute play with DA. So it's rapid fire questions. You just tell me the first thing that comes to mind, personality based, because you guys love to see the personality behind the guys you love on the field. You ready, Tim? Ready. All right. I guess. I hope. Who is the toughest person you faced on the other side of the ball? We're looking at the other side of the ball. Go up against that guy. Who was that guy? Uh, James Hasty. Okay. What was what was? Oh, put him I, I, you said rapid fire. I thought that. Well, was I mean, it. sometimes it's rapid fire, but sometimes I expand because that's what I do. <laughs> uh, you know, James was one of those no nonsense type guys. Didn't okay. talk. Wasn't going to, you know, do all that extracurricular stuff. Mm -hmm. It was all about, you know, from whistle, whistle to whistle him. And he drove there me you nuts, go. you know. So I hate the guys like that. Best movie of all time? Color Purple. Favorite R&B artist of all time? It can be current. You can take Ooh. it back. R&B, oh, R&B. I, I, I only know way in the back, so I'm going to have to say okay, that's... Luther Vandross. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, best piece of advice someone's given you in your life? It could have been a coach. It could have been a friend. Um... To believe in myself. Favorite pregame meal when you were playing? I ate the same thing for 17 years. Really? I mean, Did you didn't get sick? For breakfast, I had an omelet. Uh, with <laughs> what bacon, kind of omelet? Bacon and cheese omelet. Okay. And uh, if it was a late game, I had spaghetti. Wow. Last. With butter toast with honey. <laughs> with butter toast with honey. Had to have butter toast. What was it about the butter toast with honey? Like, you what know, are we? It, why are we rocking with that? So because hard? honey was an energy thing, and I like butter on my toast. So, but it had to be. So I would like tear the kitchen up until I got my honey. Because sometimes you go to these places and they say, "Well, we don't have honey." Wow, well, I didn't realize honey was that hard to find. Yeah, yeah. I don't really do a lot of rock with a lot of honey. Well, you're so. on the road. And you play a road game versus <laughs> Kansas City. Everything is hard to find. Believe me. Nice. Well, you're a legend. Who is your favorite legend in another sport? We gotta go outside of football. Who's um, someone, obviously, well, that you, you just know, really think highly of in another sport, not football? Uh, during my time, you know, when I first got into sports, uh, it was Dr. J. Mm -hmm. That morphed into Michael Jordan. Michael so right. I always thought I was a basketball player more than a football player. So why? Because um, I love the sport. <laughs> you know, I mean, okay. because 
you know, you you learned how to shoot a basket and make a layup before you learned how to score a touchdown. True. And you know. So, so that was like the fundamental of kind of what shaped a lot of your football career yeah, then. Yeah. Interesting. So, I don't know. think a lot of people know that. It's exactly yeah. why I do these interviews. Okay, last one. Favorite comedian? Who's somebody that always makes you laugh when you're just any time of day, any time of night? Who's that guy? Well, I mean, you know, not so much anymore, but oh. back in the day. Oh yeah, back in the day. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Uh, I mean, Legend. I, I followed him every, you know, if they had social media back in the day, I would have been. You've been following him on Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, Snapchat, <laughs> Vine. You would have been following him following on every him, platform. No doubt. Well, Tim, I really appreciate you. It was fun no getting to know you. This I know the great. fans really are excited to get to know a little bit more about you. That's exactly why I do these interviews. So, Tim, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you, honey. <laughs> fun right. stuff. Peace.